Hello again everyone, as usual, I'm Buff Bud, and today we are back with another episode of Terraria Season 2 Calamity. Uh, so last episode, uh, my apologies about the on, I am recording this early in the morning, which also explains my, uh, extreme allergy nasally sound, so, I apologize. Uh, but anyway, uh, we finally made a, uh, Hecavator, uh, so that's awesome. Um... What else did we do? I know we did something else. We explored the Hecavator a little bit. Oh, there's something else that we didn't. I can't remember what now. Dang it. Oh well. Anyway, um, so what I have done off camera is actually I set up two farms, or technically eight. I've set up all the herb farms here. I've set up a mushroom farm here. So that's helpful. Uh, because I want to try and start brewing our own potions. Because we're going to need a lot of them soon. Uh, let's see. Uh, I have... There it is. I have taken meteorite. Uh, that was... Over here. Uh, another meteor landed over here uh, recently, so I mined all that up, and I moved, uh, I think it was like 500 of it over here, because I think the game checks to see if there's 500 meteorite in the world already, and if there is, then it's not going to spawn any more meteorites. So I just put this one here, that way, um, oh. again, I apologize. Uh, I put this one here, that way it'll stop any meteors from spawning, and in the process, I actually found this, uh, uh, floating island. So, that's awesome. Uh, but off camera, oh, right. I actually, uh, explored the, uh, bottom of the ocean a little bit, and I found this thing here. Uh, apparently this is called the Abyss. So, there's that. Um, let's see, I briefly delved into here, not, you know, long at all, but just long enough to see what it was all about. Seems like it's not that awful. Uh, and then, oh yeah, I did, um, I did explore a lot of this, uh, Hecavator surrounding area here. I found a bunch more, uh, underground, um, uh, houses and everything, so... I took everything from those. I figured, why not just take everything from those, because I keep saving them for on-camera when it really doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's see. I found another rail that led me to here. Uh, led me here. What is that, I wonder? Anything special? Probably not. Uh, let's see, over here we found a marble biome, a very small mushroom biome. Uh, let's see. And just brought us down here. So, yeah. Nothing too special, but, yeah, we got it. Um, and then, up here, I went through this granite biome, which led me up here, into a uh, cavern, which led me over to a spider area, and then another granite area. And then it started changing into the ice. Found another spider biome, another spider biome. Uh, apparently I forgot to check this area out, whatever. And then I found this. I did not explore this. Because there is something interesting with it. Uh, I will explain that when we get to it. Uh, let's see. And then that's about that. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else I did. I think that was about it. Okay. Uh, but I have also, uh, fully upgraded our, um, oh dear. Our storage system now. Uh, it now all has Crimtane storage upgrades, so that's helpful. Uh, we need to work on the Hexstone ones soon, uh, but that's eventually. Um, and then I also got a to-do list. We need to check out the Dungeon, Jungle, Floating Islands, the Abyss, the Buried Sea, which is apparently the one under the, uh, uh, the desert. We need to check out the Underworld, and I want to try and check out the Sulfurous Sea. Uh, so I was actually looking into that one how we were supposed to even get in there. Apparently, there's a set of armor and a potion to help you with that. Um, I think we have enough materials to make the armor now. Uh, let's see. So we need uh, 
acid wood, urchin stingers, sulfurous sand, and sulfuric uh, scales. I think we have enough for all of these pieces. And it looks like uh, these will actually up our uh, defense. There we go. Okay, so we're at 19 now. No, nope, I always do that. Okay, you cannot shift click apparently. And we're at 20 now, so just did one extra. Whoa, what was that? Okay. Set bonus. Attacking and being attacked by enemies inflicts poison. Grants an additional jump that summons sulfur, uh, sulfurous bubble. Uh, provides increased underwater mobility and reduces the severity of sulfuric waters. Rogue stealth builds... Uh, wait. Rogue stealth builds while not attacking and slower while moving, up to a max of 100. Once you have built max stealth, you will be able to perform stealth strike. Rogue stealth only reduces when you attack, it does not reduce while moving. The higher your rogue stealth, the higher your rogue damage, crit, and movement speed. Okay. I don't understand that. Oh! Interesting. Huh. Do we have any rogue damage? No, it doesn't tell us. Dang it. Uh, ID. ID? No. No. Because I think something like this... Yeah, this does rogue damage. Maybe we could try using this out in the... Uh, the sea? I don't know. Also, I did want to try the potion. Um, no. I wonder if we can't make it because we don't have... Oh, wait. I'm looking at, uh, in the wrong thing. Yeah. So, we're going to need some more bottles, too. So let's make some bottles. Okay. That should be good. Also, let's put the thorium armor in here for now. There we go. Okay, so potions. We will need to make bottled water. I want to make 60 of them. Because 60 is the uh, permanent buff limit. Okay. Oh, I can do that. Dusk motion. Increases stats during the night. Okay. Ah, sulfur skin potion. There we go. There we go. So now... Nice. Okay, so now that I have sulfur skin and this armor, it should actually work. Uh, also, um... Uh, I was able to confirm, actually, if I take one of these away and just put it in a chest. Oh, it actually needs to be a stack of it. Never mind. Okay. But yeah. So, look at that. Uh, a way that I uh, know that works is if you go into the mod configurations into Fargo, Fargo's Mutant Mod? Yeah. Uh, right here. Unlimited potion buffs for 60 seconds. So, yeah. Also, it gives us an option to turn Christmas and Halloween on if we ever need to, so that's helpful. Uh, but at any rate... Oh, right! I also decided to buy the uh, yarn ball because it's adorable. And it does 20 damage as opposed to... I think our last one was like... Um, uh, 14 or something? Oh, what the heck? I'm like invisible almost that's cool all right but anyway i'm gonna quickly uh head over to the uh sulfurous uh sulfuric ocean sulfur sea whatever and i'll see you guys when i get there all right so we are coming up to the uh sulfurous ocean here so i just want to test this out quick okay so we do still take damage but it is just a lot less damage now Still not ideal, but it's still a lot less damage. Uh, I have looked into it, uh, and it looks like... Wow, there's a lot of fallen stars here. Uh, it looks like there is actually a... Um, 
uh, a item that we can get. Can I not place this? Huh. That's weird. Anyway, um, it seems like there is an item here that we can get that will completely negate our um, uh, sulfurous sea issues. The heck was that? Oh. No. Okay. Water filter. Oh. Disable acid rain. Nice. Um. But unfortunately, in order to find that, we have to actually delve into the sea a bit. So I want to try and find that first. Oh, this is so weird, dude. Oh, another chest. Maybe it's down here. Rusty beacon prototype. Huh. I think that's a summon. But it doesn't seem to, uh... Actually summon any... Th well... I don't know. Ow. Ow. See, that's the problem. We, uh, we, we kind of need to see things in order to actually do stuff. Okay. Well, oh, sulfuric treasure. Okay. Not bad. Oh, I forgot to get that second chest. Oh, well. Okay, so now we at least know what we're dealing with. We should probably get a shine potion or something like that to help us out. Uh, also, something I completely forgot to mention, we got a magic mirror. Uh, one of the uh, the things down below uh, in one of the houses actually gave us a magic mirror, so yeah. Alright, but anyway, um, what was I doing? Right, I was going to put this in here for now. Um, also, apparently uh, these building tools actually help out if they're in my uh, piggy bank. So yeah, that's cool. Um, and then I did buy these, uh, potions from the alchemist or something like that. Uh, this one teleports me to the ocean, which might have actually teleported me to the, uh, uh, the sulfuric sea, maybe. Uh, this one teleports me to the jungle, and then this one teleports me to the dungeon. So that's really cool. And while fishing, I got these things here that I want to try out. And then I can craft things with these crates. Uh, not these ones, so I might as well just open these. Okay. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, I went fishing a little bit, and I got these things. This is a stuffed fish, which extracts herbs and seeds. Okay, and then this one permanently increases my mana. I don't know if it will anymore, because we are full, but... Yeah, no, it's basically just a uh, mana star. Nothing great there, but whatever. Welkin Bell? Interesting. Day Bloom, Moon Glow, Crimson Seeds, Fire Blossom, Ship of Thorn, Blink Root. Fire Blossom, that's good. Grass Seeds, okay. Marine Kelp. Marine Kelp Seeds, okay. Um, uninhibited Water Movement, Attack Speed, Radiant Damage. No, okay. Interesting. Okay, so then let's open these up now. Come on. Okay, so we got Aquite Bar. Uh, steel Drum, Flipper Potion, Depth Scales, Steel Drum, Mana Potions, 40 of them, nice. Uh, Journeyman Bait, Thorium Ore, The Bait of the Master Variety, uh, Rainstone. Oh! Interesting. So that basically turns the rain on and off. Uh, guarding drowned bloom. On the face of the corn lines, no ornate fishtail. While f uh, while equipped, you are always counted as being wet for equipment effects. Additionally, you are granted uninhibited water movement. Nifty. I like it. And Splunker and Thorium. Okay. That's pretty cool. 
And then I'm actually going to keep that in my piggy bank because that is very helpful to have around. There we go. Uh, so at any rate, uh, what I would like to do now, where's my, did my piggy bank die already? Jesus Christ, that thing died quick. Uh, what I want to do is I want to actually go to the dungeon and I want to explore that now. That's the wrong button. There we go. Because there is quite a bit here that we need to uh, find. Wait, what? Oh, I put my potions away. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I need to find quite a bit here. Uh, we need a tally counter. Uh, apparently there is a lot of new enemies down here that we need to find. I probably should be taking these books, but I can do that some other time. Oh boy, what the frick. Raging Minotaur and Gelatinous Cube. I don't know what happened to that eyeball just there, but that was hilarious. Yeah, this is actually a, um, a, uh, Vanquisher quest for the tracker. Wasn't very tough, though. Nice. I wonder what that offers now that we killed him. Okay, water, uh, water candle, we need that. Alright, so let's take that. That's a mini gelatinous cube. A dungeon slime? Oh, the the, the one with the, the key, you mean. Gotcha. Okay, I don't know what's going on with that uh, thing there, but that's hilarious. Oh, I see. So our stealth does actually uh, decrease the more we use our stealth thing. So right now this is at 28. Okay, so it goes down to like 23-ish. Oh, the first one I use when my stealth is at full does that weird um, thing. So that's actually a thing then. Okay, good to know. And we do now have a golden key, so that's helpful. Jelly. What is that? No, oh, just kind of like a mini potion. Nothing great about that. Okay. Hey, we found the jungle chest already. Okay. Oh, Shinobi Blade? Interesting. Huh. Alright. Nifty. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but whatever. I don't like you. Big Bone. Alright. That's weird. Uh, so what I like to do whenever I find uh, these um, uh, biome chests is I like to light them up like this. That way I can very easily find them on the map. Ouch. Okay, there's our first uh, golden chest. I think we have two keys now. Yeah, 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 might as well check it out, right? Okay, Cobalt Shield, all right. Getting that Ink Shield already. Nice. Knight's Alloy, I think that's something that we needed for something. I can't really remember what though. Also, this cat is great, it does great damage. And it uh, actually damages through blocks sometimes. Okay, there's another dungeon slime up here. Let's kill it quick. There we go. Thank you. Ouch. Okay. So we haven't found anything too helpful yet. What was that? I couldn't read it because it was too fast. Oh. Hold on. Let me do it this way. 
Next time I see it. Withered Carrier. Piglin Army Banner? <gasps> what? Ouch. Can you, like, not nah, please? I want the world. Won the world. Okay. Oh, intimidating night shiv. That's weird. I'll take it. Midnight oil. Okay. So what is this banner? Marks the location of the attack. Wait. I think I remember reading about this. Isn't this a uh a thing here? The Piglin Army. Yeah, that's a thing. So I think that's a summon for that. Interesting. Okay. Oh, that made a weird sound when it died. Okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't realize I could click on clocks to get the time. Didn't really need to, but alright. Okay, so there's nothing too special about this dungeon yet. I'm starting to think that uh, nothing really changed about the dungeon besides its enemies. Hey, Muramasa! Okay, oh. A bone welder! Nice! Okay. So we should probably go back home. Oh, right, we're... Pause. Okay, also, let me go kill this slime real quick so we can get another uh, thing. Oh. That's not a slime. I thought that was pointing at a dungeon slime. Um. Oh, a minotaur. So this is probably going to be a very bad idea, just saying. But I'm going to try it. This is probably some kind of, like, boss summon, if I had to guess. Oh, YOLO. Oh, boy. Oh. You're not very strong. Oh, hello. Well, that didn't really work. Oh. I can only attack the real one. Ouch. Yeah, this thing's not very strong. New record, yay. Okay. Nifty. Well, let's quickly teleport home. Drop that for now, I guess. Interesting. Uh, Anything here that we need to keep? I don't think so. I will deposit all. I will deposit that. Uh, the bouncing on ball is not great, but it's also not awful. Mage hand. Uses four mana and allows you to control a mage hand which can pick up an enemy, town, NPC, or items around itself. Cannot interact with objects when too far away from the player. <laughs> oh, I can move them, like, out of their houses, too. That's cool. That's cool. I like that. Oh, wait, what am I doing? I could just summon the, uh, or I can just teleport there. That is cool, dude. Uh, there we go. That is super cool. Well, I'm glad I uh, killed that thing already. Actually, let's just do this. Uh, 
Drop some keys I didn't pick. Uh, keys. Uh, coins I didn't pick up. There we go. Alright, so now we can... Ouch! Right, I'm not gonna bother with that. Where was that? Must have been down a bit more. Right, I need to be killing as many of these guys as possible because I do need a um, tally counter. Uh, that was down here. Ancient bone dust. Okay. Bound mechanic. Hey, there she is. Hello. Okay. Was there no more stuff? Oh no, there was more stuff to pick up. There we go, scrying glass. Uh, let's see, increases your max number of sentries. Eh, not great. Pressing the accessory ability will toggle and increase the view of range. Okay. There we go. Now, I don't know if she's going to sell anything that's actually helpful for us right now. Microphone. Whack wrench. Subwoofer. Headset. Weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing here is too terribly helpful for us just yet. But I'm sure it'll be helpful down the line. Oh, right, I forgot to mention that. Uh, off camera, I did find the, uh... Uh, the living wood sap that I needed to upgrade our incubated egg here. So now we actually have the upgraded version of that. It was actually really easy to find. I just needed to keep breaking living wood uh, saplings that were uh, out in the world. I thought it was going to be a lot more difficult than that, but nope. It wasn't even that rare. Like, I think I got it on my first try. Oh, another withered carrier. Hello. Bruh. Oh my god. I'm looking at three different things here, apparently. Nice. So it seems like those guys always drop that uh, piglet banner. Okay. Shackle to a nearby shackler ball. Interesting. That's a cool uh, mechanic. Also, I think uh, we're going to stop exploring the dungeon soon, just simply because it is the same dungeon. I can explore off camera, no big deal. Uh, I think we will go explore something else soon. Uh, I do have a key. Nice. For the record, that to-do list that I wanted to do was not everything I wanted to do in this episode. That was just stuff that we needed to do in general. So, I didn't want to try and get all that stuff done today. Okay, good. Alright. Ouch. Wait, why is this not... There we go. Oh, there's a new chest over there. That's... What is that? What is that? I don't recognize that one. Hehehe. <laughs> nice. Alright, I want to go check out that chest real quick first, and then we can stop with this. Oh, also, here's the ice chest I'm now seeing. Nice. Alright. This is the ice one, right? It looks slightly different. Oh, wait, what's uh, Dungeon Slime? Okay. So I want to come over this way to try and find that uh, other one. Also, I haven't seen any more water potions nearby. Strange. Oh, there we go. Pfft. Literally right as I say it. 
Or er, water potions, water candles, I meant. Nice. That's cool. Dark Steel Knight. Okay. Yeah, I don't recognize this one at all. Oh, is that an underworld chest? That might be some kind of underworld chest. Interesting. Okay, but at any rate, uh, seeing how the dungeon is more or less the same, I think we are going to stop with this. I want to go check this out. So let's uh, get out of here. And then let's come down here. Um... go. I want to save those because that seems like some kind of event or a um, boss or something like that. Oh, forgot to check this out. Oh, we can make water candles this way. Okay. Oh, we can convert them back and forth. Okay. Nifty. A camera for magic damage? That's funny. Whoa. Hello. Minotaur skull and bones. Okay, that doesn't seem like a bad trade off. 29 summon damage. That could be good. This is like a uh, minion set, or a summoner set, rather. That doesn't seem bad. Okay, anyway. Now uh, let's stash all this. Huh. I'm gonna keep this for now, actually. Oh god, I closed. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna... I think I just threw that way. I'm good. No, let me test it with something else less important. Um... Bone swords. Where do I get these? Oh, from skeletons. Okay. Um, so let me... No, thank God, it does actually put it in there. Okay. Uh, but at any rate, let's quickly go put the piglin banner up here. Uh, in the bosses, because I think it is going to be a boss thing. Uh, and then I need to come down here. Uh, it's going to be a little difficult to get there, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we're coming up to it here. And this is why I didn't explore it off camera. Oh god, that's so loud. Uh, it'll be under sound, I believe, right? Yeah, so there are literally turrets shooting at me. I'm not sure how strong those turrets are, but thankfully they are blocked by a wall. Nothing seems to be there. Can I attack them? Ouch. Okay, I can't seem to attack them. Can I break them? Nope, I can't even get close enough. Can I do anything with my mage hand, I wonder? Is that something I can do? I think I accidentally threw this. Um, this is interesting, you know? Okay. Okay, so it seems like if I just, like, do that, I think I can cheese it. Ow, 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 ouch! Yeah. Okay. That was awful. <laughs> Frozen turtle shell. You're kidding. Huh. Okay. Normally those things only drop from the uh, ice tortoises. 
That was a great deal. So what else is in here then? Alright. Uh, is this a chest? I don't even know. Maybe this is a chest that we can get into. Maybe it's just something we can break? No. Looks like it's just some kind of like, uh, just for looks type thing. Alright. That sucks. Alright, so there's more cannons up here. Oh god, oh god, they're shooting from up above now. Dang it. Uh, I don't know what this thing is, but it's slightly terrifying. Okay. There we go. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, good. So if I do... Oh, I can't even do that. Can I reach this, though? I can. Good. Okay. And then those ones up above shouldn't be able to reach me now. Oh boy. Okay, that is not fun. I think those are chests, though, maybe. If one does manage to breach restricted testing facilities, do at least record any unexpected burns, lacerations, bruising, fracture, trauma, shocks, and otherwise. Thank you. Huh. Yeah, yeah, these are chests. Okay. Nifty. I don't know what half that stuff is, but we'll figure it out later. Okay, so I am going to teleport home. There we go. Alright, so what did we get? Encrypted schematic. It's impossible to decipher. Maybe we have to give this to someone, like an NPC we can get later on or something? Uh, Dragon's Log, the Frozen Wasteland. A freezing tundra, on, uh, where only creatures entirely adapted to the sub-zero temperatures exist and thrive. It is, shock, uh, it is a shocking transition from the forests of the purity and the sun-baked desert. A climate like this should not exist naturally in this part of the world with ease. The weather patterns seem to shift unnaturally around the skies of these icy plains. There is likely a reason for this, which necessitates further research. Intriguing. Uh, though embedded deep into the caverns of ice and, and worn from centuries of frost and meltwater, I have uncovered several me uh, mechanisms with one filled, which once filled the tunnels here. The ingenuity present is remarkable, and I have found parallels with, uh, within my own work, as well as devices when I have something to learn from. Oh, even devices, as well as devices even I have something to learn from. Uh, from where do these come? Why, uh, why machinery so complex and so sparse and dreary a habitat? Perhaps they are related to the unnatural conditions. I am not the only singular being to inhabit this biome. Once before, the Archmage who opposed the Lord resided here, cloaked by constant artificial blizzards of his own, uh, by, uh, of his own creation, which no longer fall. He likely chose this place as a, uh, uh, as a conduit for research into his ice spells, and extended for, and extended the period of time that this place remained frozen. Deep underground, my research and materials lay well protected, but above the natural storms, there are traces of the prison of ice he resides in, still haunting its place of creation. So is that hinting at some kind of boss, then? I think that's hinting at some sort of boss. Mounted scanner.
interesting. Okay. Jesus Christ. Oh, that's post Moon Lord. Gotcha. Okay, so anything here that I need to keep? No. All right, the puzzle. So what are you telling me about? Probably the illusionist. Yeah. Randomly placed in the dungeon. No spawn item. Interesting. Okay. And we got everything from it already. Okay. It's so nothing too great from that guy. All right, but anyway, uh. Oh, sorry about the on there. Uh, we are going over on time for this episode, so I'm going to have to end it there. Uh, off camera, I will try to further explore this. I uh, probably won't get too far because it is pretty bad. Uh, I will try and explore the rest of the dungeon, uh, see if I find anything interesting. If I do find anything interesting, I will definitely keep it you know, for next episode. Um, and then I'll probably just explore more tunnels, see if I can find anything interesting. Um, I think next time we're going to check out the, uh, the jungle and the floating island and then probably the abyss over here as well. So, yeah, I think it's going to be pretty exciting. So, yeah, at any rate, if you guys did enjoy this episode, then please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thank you, and have a great day, then. Goodbye.